Hey guys and welcome back. This is going to be the third video about the navigation bar and in this video we are going to create a responsive navigation bar using HTML and CSS only. We are not going to use JavaScript in this. By responsive I mean that the navigation bar is expanded only in big or wide screen. When the size of the screen falls below a specified limit, the navigation bar falls into a button and when we click on this button, we get to see all the links which are inside the navigation bar. So we are going to get this navigation bar by using only HTML and CSS just to make it very simple and easy for anyone who is not comfortable or who is not yet started with the JavaScript. To quickly learn this and create this navigation bar for themselves and even if you know how to use JavaScript this can be something new for you to learn so anyways just open the text editor start writing the tag and uh, let's save the file as a HTML document first so that the text editor recognizes the tags Alright then write the HTML tag and hit enter then quickly fill in the title alright then create a link tag so that we can link the external CSS file with this HTML file there are two ways to style your document either you can keep the CSS stylings in this HTML file itself by creating a style tag and then keeping all the CSS stylings within it or you can make a new CSS file and then keep all the CSS stylings in that file and then link that file to this HTML file by using this link tag then get inside the body tag create a div tag let's write the class as top navbar then let's create a input tag and write the type as checkbox and the ID as menu hyphen icon hyphen input input tag specifies an input field where the user can enter the data and very often these input elements are used within a form element to declare input controls that allow users to input data and uh, an input field can vary in various different ways depending on the type attribute and here we have written the type as checkbox because of that we will get a checkbox then create a label tag and write the ID as menu hyphen icon then for attribute menu hyphen icon hyphen input make sure that the ID of the input tag and the value for the for attribute in the label tag are same and this label tag is used to associate a text label with a form input field or this label tag is used to tell users the value that should be entered in the associated input field and here we have associated the label tag with the input field containing the id as menu hyphen icon hyphen input and this html code ampersand hash 9776 semicolon is for the hamburger menu icon alright then get inside and create a div tag and let's write the class as nerve hyphen items and we are going to define the links within this so create a ul tag that is the unordered list tag then get inside and create a li tag that is the list items then create a a tag leave the link part as just a hash symbol then class 
as active because we want the first link to be displayed as the active one then write the name of the link similarly create some more links All right. Now let's open this file in the browser. So you can see that we have a small input field which contains a checkbox, and then we have a label for that. That is the hamburger menu icon and then we have all the links below it so with this we have completed the html part and now we need to style it so create a new file and let's name it style.css because we have already linked style.css in the html part so we need to use the same name start with the body tag let's define the font family then font size All right then let's style the top navbar class give it a background color then box shadow 2 pixels space 3 pixels space 4 pixels space rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 all right then let's style the ul tag inside the top navbar class and since ul is a html tag we don't have to write dot or a hash symbol before it then padding 0 margin 0 and display as flex list style type none so this will remove the bullet symbol and make the list items stacked in one row then let's style the a tag inside the top navbar class and uh, this a is also a html tag so we don't have to write a dot or a hash symbol before it display as inline hyphen flex text decoration as none to remove the underline when we hover over it then color hash f2 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 Padding All right Then let's style the nav hyphen items class which is like the container for all the links Text hyphen align as center overflow as hidden clear 
बोथ और राइट देन डॉट नर्व हाइफेन आइटम्स स्पेस ए कोलन हवर दिस विल एड सम हवरिंग इफेक्ट to the link which is inside the nav hyphen items class then background color hash triple d then color as hash triple zero because when we are hovering over any link the background color is changing so we want to change the font color as well then transition as 0.3 seconds ease since we are not defining the transition hyphen property part so it will automatically take the default value which is all so this transition will be applied to all and the duration for this transition is 0.3 seconds so it will take 0.3 seconds to complete and the transition timing function is set to ease ease means that the transition effect will have a slow start will then become fast and then will end slowly and even this is the default value so if you don't write anything it will take ease let me add transition here also all right now let's hide the checkbox right input hash menu hyphen icon hyphen input because input is the name of the tag and then menu hyphen icon hyphen input is the id and both of these are siblings of each other so we don't have to leave a space in between them then write display as none so you can see that the checkbox is hidden now we just need to remove the extra space above the links now we need to hide the menu icon in large screens or the screen width more than 800 pixels because that menu icon or the hamburger menu icon has to be displayed only in small screens when the navigation bar has collapsed so let's reference the label tag because the label tag contains the hamburger menu icon padding as 10 pixels top bottom and 20 pixels left right float as right because we want the menu icon to be on the right side then font size as 2 rem color as hash f2 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 display as none and the cursor as pointer so because of this display property set to none the hamburger menu icon will be hidden always and now we need to make the hamburger menu icon visible in small screens using the media query so far the navigation bar is not collapsing it is the same irrespective of the size of the screen so write at media space screen space and space open brackets max width 800 pixels so whatever we are going to define under this will be active when the screen size is less than 800 pixels wide first of all we want the links to be displayed in different rows So change the display property to block 
and that will take care of it the links are in one row now let's display the menu icon then display the menu icon that is the hamburger menu icon and that can be done using the label attribute change the display property to inline flex all right but still the links of the navigation bar are not displayed when we click on the menu icon and they are displayed as soon as the navigation bar is collapsed let's change the hovering effect a bit give the e tag the entire width available change the display to block now let's hide the links until the menu icon is clicked right dot nav hyphen items because this class contains all the links then max height as zero so when we reduce the size of the screen width the links are not displayed and now let's display the links when we click on the menu icon write input colon checked tilde space dot nav hyphen items max height as 100% so in short this means that whenever the input checkbox is ticked or checked then we will make the maximum height of the nav hyphen items class to 100% so that all the links are displayed and you can see that in the browser all right now if you want you can just add a hovering effect over the hamburger menu icon It's better now and you can even add transition effect to make it look better and add the same transition effect to here also and uh, if you want you can also define the active class so that we have one of the links displayed as the active one alright so with this we have completed this video if you like the video please hit like button if you didn't like the video you can let me know in the comment section what you didn't like about the video so that I can improve it in the coming videos so anyways I'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching